Hi everyone and welcome back to Techie Anshi. In this video on my channel, we are going to talk about how you can generate quick insights from your data and show them on the dashboard. I already have an existing video where I showed a quick tip on how you can build quick insights. And this is another such one on the same lines. I hope you guys would enjoy this because this is something that we all want our stakeholders to have on the dashboard so that they can quickly generate insights and consume the data that's available. So without further ado, let's get right into this video. So let's begin by connecting to our data. And in this case, this is going to be a sample superstore data. Uh, I have my orders, people and return data. I'm going to first go ahead and create a calculated field. So this calculated field I'm going to call as benchmark product because this is the product with whom we are going to compare the other products. For now, I will just leave it as a blank calculation before I will create a parameter. So let's go ahead and create a parameter. And again, this is parameter I'm going to call it benchmark with respect to. Again, this is going to be of a string type. And we want to return the values of the subcategory when the workbook opens, right? So that I have all my subcategories in there. So if I show this parameter, I will have all the values that I want to compare uh, available in this. So now let's go ahead and edit our calculation. So this is going to be a fixed calculation where we want to calculate the sum of sales, but we want to calculate the sum of sales for the subcategory where the subcategory is equal to this parameter value. So when the subcategory is equal to the benchmark with which we want to compare, only then we are going to take the sum of sales. With that, this calculation will be created. It's a simple fixed LOD calculation. Okay. Once this is created, uh, you will see it's having the subcategory. So let's uh, just go ahead and pull this into the rows. Okay. As you can see, you can see the value of the sales for that particular product. Let's quickly check that. If I bring the subcategory and the sum of sales, I can see accessories has the same value as I'm seeing on this sheet, which means the benchmark value that I'm fetching is correct and as what I want here. We need to create some more calculations for this. So let's go ahead and create sales versus benchmark sales. So what we are doing here is we are going to compare the overall sales with the sales of this particular product that's selected as a benchmark. So it's a simple division. And since we want it to be a percentage, I'm just going to go ahead and subtract one from this. Okay. So with that, this calculation sales versus benchmark sales is created. You can just go ahead, right click on it and make sure that the data type of this, the number format is in the form of a percentage with a single decimal, right? So this is also created. Now we will create one more calculation. We will call this whether the product is better or worse when compared to the other, right? So I'm calling this better versus worst. And I'm saying if the sales value versus benchmark sales is greater than zero, if the percentage is more than zero, then this is better. Otherwise it is worse, right? So this comparison statement, the insight that we want to build, this particular uh, calculation will help us build that particular uh, calculation over here. So this is also created now. So we have the benchmark product. We also have the better or worse. Okay. So let's pull quickly all the fields that we just created. So we have the subcategory. What is the uh, sales of the benchmark product with which we are comparing it? Okay. Then we want to see whether it is better or worse. So you can see that I can also quickly show the parameter. So it's comparing with accessories at this point in time. If I pull in the sales versus uh, the benchmark sales, which is the percentage, I can also see that. So you can see if it's negative, then it's worst, right? If it's positive is better. Okay. Then we have our sum of sales. Let's pull that in as well and quickly pull it in the front so I can quickly compare. So if this sales is less than this, so you can see this is negative, right? This is positive. And accordingly, the better and worse is getting calculated. The better and worse phrases being calculated, right? So I think this works fine. Now, all that we will need further is 
to create that particular insight right so for that let's go ahead and duplicate the sheet and everything that we had in the rows i'm just going to pull it in the text because we just want to create a single line insight over here so the insight should tell me whether the product that i'm selecting is it better or worse compared to the product that's the benchmark right so i'm saying the subcategory performed whether it performed better or worse compared to the benchmark product right so performed how did it perform better or worse so i'll just pull, pull that up in the calculation up in the insight and yeah and i will just say then the benchmark product and how well did it perform right like so that percentage is also something we want to show so we can also keep that you can also say what is the sales of the product that you're selecting but for now i feel that's not required so i'll just remove that so as you can see this is done you can quickly see if things are changing before that let me just pull up the subcategory also as a filter and i just want this filter to be a single value drop down so i'll select that and we don't want to show all so i'll just hide the all thing right now let's fill this to an entire view so i can see accessories perform better than okay i think we are missing out the word the product uh, name okay so let's go ahead and bring the benchmark with respect to also in the text and instead of the benchmark product we will just put in this parameter so let's do that and click on okay yeah so accessories performed worse than whatever product you are selecting by so and so percentage now here both accessories are selected but you can qu quickly change this right so accessories performed better than appliances bookcases perform better than appliances by six percent fasteners perform worse than appliances by minus 92 percent so this is our insight right it's 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 a clear-cut insight where anybody can compare if you have a particular benchmark product uh, you can have that or if your stakeholders want to also select the benchmark product you can give them the option to select that from the parameter as we just did right so it gives you insight a quick insight into your data uh, some things that you can always do with these kind of insights is make them look uh, better especially with the numbers should be standing out so i'm also just doing some of this formatting and uh, formatting over here to just make sure that our matrix stands out i'm just making that as bold center aligning it and i can also further make sure that some of these uh, some of these fonts can be changed the numbers can stand all of that right so you can just work out your sheet according to how you want and as you can see you can change your benchmark product you can change your subcategory and give your stakeholders the ability to select uh, what they want and generate quick insights from your data so if you like this video today on my channel please don't forget to hit on the subscribe button and do let me know if you like some of these insights the quick insights that you can get out of data uh, and if they can help you build powerful dashboards in future thank you so much for watching stay tuned on techie and she bye bye